Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about this video today. I am doing a collab with Erica from Erica Ashley. I will list her information down below so you can go check out her video as well. For October, October's her birthday month, and she decided she wanted to do a whole bunch of collabs with her friends, and her and I decided to do this Project Pan tag video together. So it's a whole bunch of um, questions about Project Panning and what we think of it. I was tagged by Gabriella Francis and Danielle from Dub's Beauty Diary to do this, and it's just taken me a while to do it. I also saw that Paula from A Beauty Guru made me do it. She did this video as well, and this was created by Meg's Makeup 8. I'll leave all the information listed down below with the questions in case you want to do this project pan tag as well. I thought it was really fun, so I'm excited that um, Eric and I threw around a bunch of different uh, tag video ideas, and this was the one we settled on. And I'm really glad about it because it was one on my list to film anyway. So happy birthday, Erica, and thank you so much for choosing to collab with me this month. I hope you have a great birthday. And let me get into the questions. So the first question is, why did you start project panning? I started project panning in 2019 off camera. In 2018 is when I stepped into the beauty scene and found out that there was this whole beauty community on Face uh, or on YouTube. I didn't even really use YouTube before this, and I had no idea there was all this stuff. I thought YouTube was just like for if you needed to like fix something, then you go on there and you find like a tutorial video. So like I had no idea this whole world existed. And then I was like, what's project panning? What's makeup? Oh my God, let me see all this stuff. And then I did join the Fantastic Ladies page, and I'll have that down below too. And Amy reached out to me, Curly Loves Beauty and Books, and she's like, hey, I want to start a channel too, because I was thinking about starting a channel. She's like, we should be friends. And I was like, yes. So Amy and I became really good friends and created our channels around the same time, January of 2020. And I did it. I started panning because I thought it was fun. I did not have a ton of makeup. Of course, that has changed, but I just thought it was fun. I loved watching everybody's videos and um, I had a good time panning on my own in 2019 to kind of practice. So yeah, I just jumped right in. Number two, what is the most rewarding part of project panning? For me, it's not even like the actual makeup use it's like the creativity that I get from it it's taking a product that I normally wouldn't pan like this lipstick from MAC okay this is a really dark shade for me and I normally wouldn't use it I know it doesn't look that dark but it is on me and I'll put like a fun gloss over it or I'll dab it in the, the outside of my lips and put something um, lighter in the middle or layer it. Like it's been really fun for me to use different products and try to get creative with things. Like there's no way I would have worn like a red pink eye before project panning. And I love that I've been able to use like, I'm not artistic. I don't draw. I don't paint. I don't do that. I'm crafty, but I'm not artistic. So this is like my way of joining into like the art community, I guess. What is the most challenging part of project panning? The organization. Um, if you don't do a ton of project pans, it's not that bad. But I do. I'm probably involved in like 20 different project pans at this point. So I have to stay really organized. I have little different bins for things. I have a notebook. I have my spreadsheets. Um, so it's definitely if you're doing a lot of project pans, it can be time consuming to keep yourself organized. But it's super fun. How many project pans have you done? Do you plan on doing more? I don't know how many I've done, except I can say that the highest amount I have done at one time was 28. I did 28 last year or the year before. Um, 
How many have I done total? Oh God, I have no idea. Do I plan on doing more? Of course, I love this. Um, I am hoping to kind of redirect some of my project pans and like not do certain ones. Like I'm not going to do, um, or I didn't do Throwback 30 this year because I had created that 70s pan and I knew that I wanted to join in again on Nightmare and Panning Street. So there's certain things. I didn't add the Fabulous Four and I really wanted to, but I knew that I wanted to kind Kind of take a little bit of a different direction with my panning and I have too many projects to really add in a ton more so I knew I had to cut down on some so that ne when next year comes I can join in on new things if I want to are you also doing any other projects in addition to project pan I don't know if that question is like supposed to be like makeup related or whatever but um, I am part of a wax group, like home fragrance, like wax melts. So I do challenges with that. I am part of the floss tube community. I love cross stitch and I've been watching a ton of cross stitching videos. So I really want to kind of dabble in filming those. I am part, I do, um, yarn crafts. So I am part of the Yarnathon, um, group here on, uh, YouTube. So those are projects that I am involved in, and I really, really enjoy them. I love the makeup, but part of the reason I created my channel name, Teacher Loves Beauty, is because I want it to be like all-encompassing with the things that I find beautiful, and part of that is the crafting atmosphere. Um, do you limit your spending or go on a no-buy while on Project Pan? I didn't at first. In 2018, 19, 20, I bought like everything I wanted to, and my collection grew and I didn't even know what I liked enough and I was just buying 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 whatever I thought I wanted and liked I bought now I'm much more picky this year especially I did go on a low buy and I am doing a point system you see that in my buys and buys and I'm doing that with a bunch of other ladies Jen from Project Beauty Deb B Danny um from Danny's Makeup Shelly unapologetically Shelly I know Amy Melissa's doing one um Tons of people are doing them. I hope I didn't forget anybody. Andrea's kind of behind the scenes doing one. So Jaylon, Valerie, we're all doing low buys. Um, I don't know that I would ever do a no buy. I don't think I would be successful. Something in my brain clicks when it's like, no, you can't do it. I'm like, well, I'll show you. So um, I would definitely do, I'm going to tighten up my low buy for next year, but I would not do a no buy. Who are your favorite project panners to watch? I feel like I'm going to totally get this, like I'm going to get in trouble because I'm not going to list anybody. Of course, you know all my Vegas girls, Valerie, Jaylon, Danny, Deb, Jen, Andrea. I watch them. I watch Amy from Amy Melissa, Shelly, Unapologetically Shelly, Erica Ashley, Erica Conger, um, Gabriella Francis, Jessica Lee, um, Kelly Gooch, It's Just Stuff. Dub's Beauty Diary, um, Caitlin Costello. Um, God, there's so many. There's so many. Um, let me run down my list. Maybe I can give you. Oh, um, Sandra Gonzalez. I love her. Lara likes mascara. Um, I try to watch a lot of smaller channels too. God, I know I'm missing people and I'm going to feel really bad because I don't want people to feel left out. I'm one of those people too. I feel so bad if I miss somebody and I don't put in all the people because I don't ever want to like miss out on people. Um, Monica Adriana I started watching. My Makeup Obsession I started watching. Um, let's see. I don't know. If I didn't say your name and you know I watch your videos, I'm so sorry. Um... What is your number one tip for a successful project pan? Use your stuff. I mean, I you can't join in on 20 project pans and only wear makeup two or three times a week and expect to be successful in all of them. And that's that's who I was, right? I joined in on all these projects and then I was like, mm, didn't finish that, mm, didn't finish that, mm, didn't hit that goal, mm, didn't wear makeup, you know? So now I'm trying to wear makeup every day to work and that's been really, really good for me. I try to wear makeup at least once on the weekend and I'm hitting a lot more goals. Plus, I think another tip 
if I had to say number two, would be be realistic. When I first started, one of the compliments that I got on my channel was that I had low goals and I showed people that you can still project pan and not finish items or hit pan on items. You can still do this and join in on the community and have low goals and just enjoy your makeup. So um, I would say that just tailor it to you. Don't compare yourself to other people. I think that comparison is the thief of happiness, you know, like just do you. Um, what is your goal for your makeup collection through project panning to use it? I mean, I am on a low buy, so I'm trying to get things out and, you know, not bring in as much, but really I just want to use it. I want to enjoy what I have and go through the things and get rid of the things that I don't so that when I open a drawer to pick something out, I know I'm choosing something that I really like. I don't care if I have 20 blushes or 100 blushes. I just want to make sure that I like them all and I'm using them. And then what project panners do you tag to do this questionnaire next? I tag Jaylon, Jen, Andrea, Danny, Deb, Shelly, and Amy, Melissa. I want to see you guys do this video and hear what your answers to the questions are. So thank you, Erica, so much for doing this with me. And I hope you guys go over to her channel and check it out. Those of you that I tagged, I hope you do this video because I really would love to hear your answers. It was really fun to kind of think about some of these questions. And um, thank you guys for watching and spending part of your day with me. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.